people were on a back call. We had uh, two drops down there in uh, DFW. One in Cisco, that same one I did the video on. We should be getting a little attention from them because we were there five hours. another drop the next day the next morning and we got that one off and uh, went down and got some fuel and uh, went to the shipper or not the shipper but, uh, the truck stop you know not, not too far from the, the uh, stay Taking this over here to Snyder to the TDCJ or TDJC, something like that. And uh, yeah, we got an appointment in the morning, but we're going to park at the uh, pond over here. Uh, call it quits for the day. Get ready for the delivery in the morning. Hopefully, all will go well. Hopefully we'll find a spot at this pilot because I've never been to this pilot over here. So I think it's a smaller one, so hopefully there'll be a spot that I can get into. But we will see. Not that flatbed that's in front of me, but there is another truck in front of him that either he's just got a trailer wash on or he's smoking his brakes. I don't know. It looked like he was smoking a long ago. Me. If we get up here close to him, we'll do some camera video on that. There's that truck right there. Something's coming out from underneath this trailer. It don't look like, I mean, it's not liquid. I didn't get anything on my windshield. Oh, I think he's smoking a brake a little bit. But you can clearly see it when he uh, gets going down the road. Hello, hello, and good morning. How are we doing today? Uh, picked up this load in uh, Denton, Texas, and delivering over here to Snyder at the uh, distribution warehouse for the prisons, state of Texas. One of the distribution warehouses. I think that, that might be a trustee right there. I've seen several of them. They even have some uh, driving these little yard dogs around moving trailers. So. They told me to back into the door and wait in my truck. I'm like, okay, I'll do it. But if you deliver over here, you see those pallets in front of me? They pretty much span the uh, length of the dock doors. I mean, they have several dock doors, but they span the length of the dock doors. Just uh, be careful about the uh, nails that come out of those pallets. Because I found several nails around my truck. Hopefully I won't get one of these nails that are... Uh, most of the nails are, are over there by the uh, pallets, you know, but there's some that escape on their journey over there. I guess. So you have to be careful about that. But we did not stay here last night. We stayed at the pilot. Here in Snyder. It's a small pilot. Hooked up my generator and my APU, my window unit. It froze me out again. But that pilot is not a regular size pilot. It looks like a truck stop that uh, was bought out by a pilot. But you know the reviews say they have clean showers. I didn't. I didn't use the shower. I didn't have time. The appointment was at seven o'clock, and I didn't really feel like it last night. The only thing I did last night was hook up my 
window unit and uh, go to bed. Now I watch the movie. Needed the rest, you know. But uh, I did not go. They do have a Burger King there, but I did not go on the Burger King because the reviews say that's the slowest Burger King in the country. <laughs> and I was pressed for time because I didn't get up till 6:15, and I had to uh, put up my window unit in my, in my inverter. Now hopefully before too long I won't have to do that because the only thing I would have to do is put in my window unit or just pull it in and lock it because I still need to hook up that shore power plug and once I do that I won't have to run a cord every time and uh, get a box for my generator. When I get a box for the generator I will permanently mount it and won't have to, you know, the generator out. But we are running on recap, folks, this last round, so, and we got another round to do. Got another round going to Fort Worth. Load back to, uh, maybe, uh, Oldfield, I don't know. supposed to pick up that load today going to Fort Worth so I just hope I have enough recap hours left. I'm supposed to get back like 13 something hours so hopefully it'll be enough. I haven't filmed a lot in the last few days because I haven't really been home long enough to make any videos. I was home for a couple days, but I had a lot of stuff to do at the house. And I worked on this truck, this window unit again. But I'll, pitch, I'll post a picture, and I'm not totally done with the outside of it, but I'll post a picture of the uh, hatch. And uh, it's a very secure hatch. It's all angle iron, so it's not, you know, fiberglass or wood. It's all metal. And uh, I'll post a picture of the... Uh, for the hatch and how that looks that way you know it doesn't look I did it this way so I just don't like the look of a truck going down the road with the window unit hanging out the back so that's why I built it this way was I just put it on some drawer slides you know so I can just slide it out slide it out the hatch and when I'm done with it just pull it back in and shut the hatch Tell me what you think. Now the only paint that I have was a satin white, but I did find my gloss. I will be putting a couple more coats of uh, gloss white on there to make it match the truck better. But I'll post a picture of it. And uh, I think it looks alright, you know, it looks pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna get this unloaded. We're gonna head to the plant and get another get another meat load and try to make it to Fort Worth tonight. So it's gonna be a tight run, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna take up all my driving time. I just hope I have enough time. Anyways, we'll update you guys later.